Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to use proportions when figure drawing. So we kind of use proportions and I showed you how to use like how tall the figure was with using heads and things like that. And today I actually want to do that while drawing an image of someone. So this is a photograph of Frida Kahlo and you can find a link to um, this image in the description below on my um, website. But I think it's great to actually use the things we've learned to draw a person. So with proportioning when we're drawing the figure, you can use different things, but a lot of times we use the head. So this works if you're figure drawing and you are um, drawing someone from life. You probably have seen people hold their pencil out and kind of go like this and they'll move their thumb up, slide up and down and be moving it around because they're trying in their line of sight, they're trying to figure out how big that something is and measure it to compare it with something else. So here it's right in front of us. So we can just kind of see, oh, there's the head. One, two, three, four. We can kind of measure it that way. So that is proportioning. So let's go ahead and do it. So here is her head. I think it's also good to just practice drawing a figure um, using all of these different things we've been talking about. And so since I have her head, I'm going to kind of just first before I start doing the proportioning, I'm just going to kind of roughly sketch her body in. And this is more of like a gestural. So there's that shape for her hips and then her legs are coming forward. I'm just going to draw these holes like where her legs would be kind of coming forward towards us. This is where it gets a little confusing if you're drawing somebody and um, they are sitting like this, so her legs are coming forward, right? But we know that she's probably kneeling. We can't see, but it definitely doesn't look like she's sitting cross-legged because we can see these forms right here. So since I can see that, I bet her knee would be somewhere right here. And then her, the back of her legs are going to be back here. We can't really see them. But this would be kind of the shape of her legs coming towards us. So if you think about it, this is where her legs are coming out of her hips, these two circles. Her knees are probably about, looks like they might be coming together. Maybe her legs are kind of crossed behind her, but I mean, you could kind of figure that out and draw in where they might be, but they're behind her. So that's the important thing. Okay. <laughs> now let's just draw her arms in just lightly. I have a lot of lines here. So one, this arm is kind of coming up a little bit above this one. So I need to move it down just a little bit. Okay, so do you see this just really quick um, kind of sketch? And I'm not doing any details because I haven't measured the proportions yet. So this is how you would do proportions. So I would figure out, and I need to kind of put her forehead in here because I'm gonna use that as my measurement instead of the whole head since it's kind of covered with flowers. Okay, so this is going to be my measurement. So I'm gonna figure out if I have it long enough um, to here. And I'm just going to say that the base of her knees is about to this fold in here. So her head, I'm just going to use my pencil. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. So it's like five and a half till the bottom of her skirt. So one, two, three, four, five. Did I say five and a half? Oh man. One, two, three, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that feels right. Her skirt's about to here. And then to figure out if you've put things in the right place, then you can also use the, the head. So if we are like, ah, oh, is this too wide or is it wide enough? You can use that same measurement. So let's see from one side, one, two, well, let's see. 
one, two. So it's almost two of those lengths wide. So one, two. Okay, so then we know that's about right. But what about where her elbow is? Like this part right here. It looks like it's long to me. So let's check it. How far down from the top of the shoulder is that arm? So we can actually, we can measure it from even the chin. So one, let's see, one, two. So it's about two down to that. So one, two. So we're about right there. So we've got those shapes in and it's wide enough and it's long enough. So that is proportioning. And then you can just put in some of the details. So I would put in um, this, her jacket is a pretty big um, part of this composition, you know, just, or maybe it's a shawl. I can't really tell, it might be just be a shawl that's kind of wrapped around her. Coming up behind her neck. And then her necklace. It's a cool big shape. And this is really gestural, but I still think helpful. So if you are, you can draw along with me or you can look up this image online. Let's round her shoulders up a little bit here. And if you're drawing with me, I'm just starting to put some of these details in. I probably should have started with the face. And her shawl or her sweater, I'm not sure, kind of stops just above her forearm. And then we can see part of her one hand here. And then on this side, it kind of starts right here. And we'll just put more of these lines over it. And then it's coming over the top of this other hand. So I'm just drawing kind of like the palm area of the hand and then I'll fill in the fingers later. Then her dress is coming down and kind of flowing around. We can't see her knees, but we can definitely tell with this fabric Okay, so she's sitting, we've got all of these areas right now, let's go ahead and work on her face. So let's zoom in just a little bit here and I'll try to move it over so you can see her face and what I'm drawing. So let's go ahead and put in her eyes. So if you wanna use the proportions we had before, remember we did like halfway, was like where the eyes were and then we figured out, let's see, was it where the top of the head began? And we divided it into thirds, I think. But we actually had a round part in here. I'm just gonna kinda show you how I actually, this is how I do it in real life. I put the eyes in the middle, and then I divide this space in half, and I put the nose, and then I divide this space in half, and I put the mouth. And it might not be the exact right proportions, but it works pretty well for me. So we know her ears are going to be in this area right here. Her eyes are going to be in here. Try to get them the right. <laughs> size and then Frida Kahlo has these beautiful beautiful eyebrows really dark and really an important part of her kind of image her nose I'm just trying to fit it in between those eyes and this isn't the best drawing I've done of her her face shape is off And then her mouth opening might be just a little bit below this. Okay. 
Okay, so this is just a quick sketch. I don't have as much time as I would like to spend on this. And then she kind of has a square jaw. And then we can draw in this area where there are all of these flowers. So just kind of draw in the shapes of the flowers to make it a little bit less complicated. You can try to just do a quick indication of some petals. And also this ribbon. And then her hair is kind of parted here, but it's going up. into it and then she has this braid of hair right here. It's kind of dark. So this is a, a quicker um, sketch of her. I wish we had more time to draw her just like perfectly, but I still think it's good to kind of see how to use proportions and, and sizes to kind of block these things in. And then since this is quick, I'm just going to quickly add some shading on her shawl. So I'm going to draw this, I'm drawing this with you, but my challenge to you is to look at this image and try to draw it yourself. I bet you will do a much better job than I have. <laughs> using what you have learned about drawing the figure. Also, if you want to draw someone else too, feel free. This is just an image that I liked. I, I think her hair is always just really cool and her art is, is so interesting and um, meaningful, I guess, as a, a woman to see it. Okay, and we've got another dark area in here. This seems like an important piece of jewelry, so I'm making it a little bit darker. Okay, now, the hands. This is a part that I know a lot of people struggle with um, when they're drawing. So let's, so we've got just kind of like the palms, but we're missing fingers. So what I usually do is I kind of just draw in this shape, and then I add the fingers to it. So, and I also kind of curve it, so you can tell there's like a, and I would figure out one, two, three, four. Her fingers are gonna be coming out and then her thumb is coming up over the top and just barely touching this other hand. So there's her thumb. And then we have one finger here. And I kind of think of fingers in three, they have like those three knuckles. So two, three. This finger is going one, two, three. And then we have Two more fingers in here. These ones are a little bit closer together. Two, three. And then her little pinky, but it is kind of far apart, like kind of being pressed apart. And then we can get rid of some lines. I mean, it looks a little, a little bit claw-like, so let's kind of soften it up a little bit here. I'm just gonna erase some of these lines behind it so you can actually see what I drew. <laughs> so here's her thumb. One of her fingers. She's really bright fingernail polish on. This cool ring. This finger. And then this pinky. And you can put as much details on it. I mean, when you, once you start adding fingernails and stuff, it can be a little bit distracting, but now you can wrap these things around. Just, it looks like strings that are kind of wrapped around her arm. And then this hand, since we put these in, this wrist actually is right here. So the top of this hand is actually here. I drew it way too far over. And we can tell just by looking at where this hand is. And then we can just see some of her fingers back here. So I kind of would like to figure out, so her thumb is up in here. So this is kind of where her wrist is. 
And then there's like a pinky finger here behind another finger. It's behind another finger. And they're just kind of in underneath this hand. So I wouldn't focus too much on it because we can't really see it too much. And then you can shade in her skirt if you want to add some of those details. You can do as much or as little as you want. I just thought it would be helpful to show you how to draw a full figure using proportioning. And there's like that cool pattern. Okay. And then I would erase some of the lines that we've used to kind of draw in her face. And I should have used cleaner eraser when I did that. I smudged it on her cheek and she also has really cool cheekbones I would use. Okay. Now if you want to, you can um, smudge it a little bit. I can't find my, oh, here it is. Or you can just leave it loose. I really, the point of this one was proportioning, not, not drawing a perfect picture, but you could add some just solid tones in there if you want to. I'm gonna get some of her, her she has really cool cheekbones. Like shadow under her face. So you can kind of work up as many details as you want to make this as detailed as you want, but those are the basics with proportioning. And uh, free to color. <laughs> so I don't have a ton of time to make this perfect, but um, if you do, then go ahead and use it. But I think it's important to, sh to show you like how to draw the head, how to draw these different details in there, and I would definitely darken up her eyebrows. And yeah, I'm sure you can do a better job, but that is the basics of proportioning and using heads to kind of figure out those shapes. So thank you so much for drawing with me. Now what I would recommend doing is Find a picture of someone or someone that will sit for you and try to draw the full figure. And you can use this proportioning um, technique if you would like, if you think that it's helpful. Or you can use, um, I like to just start with gesture drawings. I feel like it gets things to be a little bit more accurate. Anyway, I feel like I did not do free to call justice with this picture, so it's, all, it's gonna bother me. But I'll work on it on my own. But I hope that you had success with it and that we also need to add it. Her skirt is actually here, up in here too. I think that helps. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for drawing with me today. I hope you learned how to use proportioning when figure drawing and that it was helpful. And um, I wish I did a better job with her face, but I'll work on it. Please show me your images. I would love to see them. Have a wonderful day.